Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing my Q&A for you guys now. So I have got all of my questions written down in front of me um, and your names next to the question as well. Um, if I've missed anybody, I am sorry, but I've literally just read the last one right now before doing this. Um, I'll answer them as honest as it needs to be. So I will say your names if I pronounce them wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm no, no good with names if they're not blatantly spelt to my liking. <laughs> this brain's not that clever. Right, so I'm just going to do them in the order that I got them. So, question one is from Rebecca Campbell um, asking me, why did I choose Slim World over any other diets? Well, that's just it. The reason I decided to try out Slim World is because I've seen so many successful stories and Slimming World is a lifestyle change as opposed to a diet and if I think diet I give up I don't want to do it because um, I see it as a diet and then it's like oh, I can eat how I want now I've done that I've lost a couple of stone I'll eat something else um, so yeah whereas Slimming World is a lifestyle change it's just how it's going to be for me the rest of my life now so that is why I chose Slimming World because it's just a lifestyle change um, she also asked another question what do I what do I do of an evening to stay on plan to distract myself from food? No, I, do, I haven't got any next to me. Um, they're in the bedroom now because I do them in there of an evening. I get those adult colouring books. Um, that, um, I'm sure you know which sort of ones I'm on about. Um, I've got a load in there. Um, but they're just adult colouring books, and I just sit there and I I, I colour and I watch um box sets like. TV box sets with Craig of an evening. Um, and I usually save a few of my sins, to be honest, so I can feel like I'm having something naughty. So I'll have like my hi-fi bar maybe as well, um, with a hot chocolate and a, a packet of crisps or something, or a dip dab that I've showed you guys for lolly fizzies, because they last me a long time while I'm doing my colouring and watching telly and whatnot. So that's how I distract myself. Um, the second question is from the famous Gemma FSW um, and that's asking me what my favourite Slimming World meal is. Now my favourite Slimming World meal would be um, the Slimming World Spaghetti Bolognese just because it's easy, filling and yummy. Um, yeah that's my all time favourite, it's just easy to make, you bung it all together, you let it cook itself, you cook your pasta and you just put it together and you've got a yummy, scrummy, warm, nice filling meal. So Spaghetti Bolognese. Um, the third one is from Deborah Ch Chamberlain. Chamberlain, sorry if it's wrong, um, and that's asking me um, my favourite breakfast. Now, <laughs> my favourite breakfast when I first started Slimming World would be the overnight oats, just because I was getting into the routine of my A's and my B's, and it was easy just to take it out of the fridge and have my overnight oats. But up to present day, it would be. Um, the egg wrap. Gotta say the egg wrap because it's nice and filling and I love eggs and you can put anything in it. So egg wrap for now. <laughs> um the next one is from Hall Morris. Um that's asking um what inspired me to start Slimming World and as I said um just from going on YouTube and looking up various different things and Google and reading other people's stories and seeing real lifestyle changes so that inspired me to want to try out Slimming World and I'm glad I did. Um, the next one is Amanda Ross Roston um, asking me do I work um, and uh, that's also a similar question to Angela Bate asking me where do I work so the answer to both of those is I don't work. Um, I wish I could. I wish I could have my own independence and be able to support myself a bit better and Craig. But without going into it too much, um, I am physically and mentally unable to work due to anxiety and depression. So I don't. I don't have a job. Um, the next one is where do I live? Um, that's from Sarah Jane. Um, I think I'm sure she said about she uh, was from Birmingham as well. Um, if that's the right one, I'm sorry if it's not. 
um, asking me where do I live because she was from there as well and obviously I don't live there anymore because I visit my dad a lot. Um, I currently now live in Western Supermare with my mum, well not with my mum but closer to my mum and uh, my nan and granddad were here at the time but they sadly passed away but they're buried here. Um, yeah so I don't want to go too far away from them to be honest and my uncle and all that's here as well and my cousins as you know. Um, but I do see my dad as much as I can. That's the only downfall. So yeah, Western Supermare. Um, the next one is from um, Fiona Shepherd. Um, how do I afford, afford fruit and veg and going to group? Um, if if I don't work, I think that was was it was like if I don't work, how do I support myself on swimming well? Basically, with great difficulty, hand on heart, not gonna lie, great difficulty. Some days are a total struggle. Um, I do obviously being ill get some form of, of benefit um, which helps support me go to group because that's part of the reason why I've got some issues, personal issues, um, so I use that to make sure I get myself where I need to be um, and like some top up shops and you know your fruit and your veg that you always have to get um, but Craig does um, main bulk shop um, when he can but some days as I said is a struggle and you have to just do the best, I have to just, you know, get on with it and do the best that I can and make the better choices as opposed to the worse choices. So if I haven't got enough lot of certain speed foods, I'll try and have free foods and low sin things. And my mum helps me as, um, when she can as well, um, sometimes when I'm in a bit of a rut. So yeah, it's a bit of a struggle, but I try my hardest to stay on plan and get my bum to group. Um... The next one is from Tina B. Um, what made me decide enough was enough and why Slimming World? Um, for me, enough was enough when I realised that my clothes just kept going up and up and up and I was uncomfortable to be seen out in public. I, I still am to a certain extent due to my illness, but I'm, I'm, I was ashamed to go out. I couldn't, couldn't bear to look at myself in the mirror. Um, I, I didn't like to try new clothes in case I looked absolutely disgusting and other girls looked beautiful and I just hated me, my, I hated myself, I hated me, I hated the way I looked, I thought I was just unbelievably silly for stuffing my face with the things that I eat that I, I don't need, I don't need them, I can have so much good food right now and I enjoy them, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do miss some things but I don't need them and I just... I was miserable. I was absolutely miserable. I was at my lowest and I couldn't bear to live like this anymore and I'm I just get embarrassed going for walks with my partner or with family and friends and stuff. I just get really embarrassed because I'll be out of breath. I'll be huffing and puffing, I'll be sweating, I'll just look a mess and, I'd, and then I'd make myself worse. I'd get more embarrassed, I'd get more sweaty and I just never looked looked nice and I probably don't look that great now, but I feel better in myself. Um, but I just, I just felt, I felt miserable. I wasn't happy. I was always smiling a fake smile all the time. But right now these ones are getting real. But yeah, that's why I decided enough was enough. And I decided Slimming World, as I said, because I've heard amazing things and because um, it's a lifestyle change that you can stick to. Um, the next one is Mandy Lou. Um, and she asks, what? do I eat if I'm out, if I'm out, um, so I usually just um, pop in my hi-fi bars in my bag just to, in case and some of the sugar-free sweets you get from Aldi for half a sim for a sweet, I just like to pop one of those in my mouth to distract myself a little bit, um, I usually carry around a bottle of squash in my bag as well because usually nine times out of ten it's because I'm thirsty and not hungry, so if I have a bit of a drink it goes away. Well, as I've recently discovered now with my uh, Subway salad that I can get. So yeah, that's what I do when I'm out and about. Um, Andrea Fowler um, asks us two questions. Um, what is my goal weight and what's my go-to snack? So my goal weight is um, currently 10 stone. That sounds like a lot, I know, but for my height, um, and my age and BMI and all that sort of stuff um, is uh, 
supposed to be 10 stone and I spoke to my consultant about this and she's comfortable with it. I had the talk the other week, um, seeing if that was the right thing to do. Is that too low and whatnot? She says, no, it's perfectly fine, perfectly healthy. So my goal weight, which I don't know if I'll ever, ever achieve, I will try my hardest, is to get to 10 stone. I'm currently 13, eight and a half, I believe. I'll check my book, bear with me. I'll have a quick gander. I, uh, yeah, I'm currently 13, eight and a half because I put on a pound and a half last week, didn't I? So, yeah, I want to get to 10 stone. Um, but I want to be at 12 stone before Christmas. So that's my mini target I've set myself. Um, and my go-to snack would be um, boiled eggs if I'm at home. Um, boiled eggs and um, the Slimming World Scotch eggs because they're filling and yummy. And you can eat as many of those as you want because it's free. So definitely boiled eggs. Um, and yogurts as well. I'm really like yogurts. I like to have a um, snack on that as well. And um, bananas, grapes and apples. So they're my go-to snacks that I love to snack on. Um, the last question is from Mary Gibson. Why did I switch from Weight Watchers to Slimming World? Um, Obviously, I chose Slimming World, as I said, because um, of all the good things I heard about it and it being a lifestyle change. And I was doing Weight Watchers, but it, it just wasn't fitting in for me. It was it was like calorie counting. I just I couldn't do it exactly. You had to have your, your calculator. I mean, if it works for you, brilliant, but it, it didn't for me. Um, you have your calculator, and you, you have so many points for your height, weight, BMI, and everything, and everything's pointed from calories, and checking you're constantly checking everything you don't get any free food and speed food so you, you know you can just put that on your plate it's just it's too much counting it was, it's too it was too stressing for me i couldn't couldn't stick to it i really could not stick to it um so it wasn't for me weight watchers i did lose about two stone doing weight watchers but it started creeping back on when i was i was just it wasn't the right mindset for me that type of I would say diet, but I'm not sure. I think I think Weight Watchers is, is a diet. I'm not sure how you carry it on afterwards because I didn't follow it through. Um, but I love Slimming World. Definitely Slimming World to me all the way because of uh, no calorie counting. I mean, I know that it is involved in there, but it's a different way of thinking it and actually doing it. You're not checking everything. You've only got to keep an eye on your sins, which is simple. You get your A's and your B's. Uh, you get your free food so you don't have to measure out and weigh you know your potatoes your pasta your rice and all that sort of stuff and your chicken and all that sort of stuff and your speed food you can put as much as that on the, on your plate as you like i mean on weight watchers you have to have points for eggs i think it was like two points for an egg and on the world i can have 10 eggs for nothing so semi world all the way for me guys love it love it love it love it i'm so happy that i decided to take this journey and take the rest of my journey with you beautiful people oh also there was one last question which was from my dad if you'd have seen it asking if there's any chance of him and linda having a sausage sandwich well the answer to that is yes because you've had it now <laughs> so they come down and they had their sausage sandwich i didn't i had an egg wrap all on plan with bacon and mushrooms inside it's half a cinnamon so yeah, that was my Q&A video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it answered all your questions that you needed to know. Um, thank you for asking me those questions and taking the time out. So answers revealed. So thank you very much guys. I hope you're having a brilliant week on plan and I will see you soon.